Hey there peeps, Mimi here and welcome back to Danimachi Memoria Freeze. And today we're going to talk about the casino. And I don't have the notification for casino is open uh, available in my notifications um, there, but you can get to it low key um, by going to the 4.1.0 notice. And you know, it tells you, oh, it's gonna open on Monday, which is today, but you'll see this Tuesday. Um, casino has opened, you know, you're gonna have poker. Yes, we know this, but what else? Okay, and we know that we have eyes and we have Hestia, Dirk Cuties, but you can see here, casino medals, which you have won at a casino can be ex exchanged with grand prizes, Please see our news here to find out about the prizes. So you click there and we can talk about casino prizes. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the rewards that we can get in casino. And then we're actually going to get into casino and try to play. Low key, I don't know how to play poker. So I'm going to have to learn. <laughs> but we're going to try this. Um, okay. So the casino medal, it can be earned in the casino, which is what we're going to be exchanging for prizes. And we can apparently earn casino medals outside of the casino, which totally makes sense, right? Uh, but they're going to be kind of baked in um, as login bonuses and daily missions. So even if your luck is terrible, you'll still be able to get casino medals. Um, maybe not as many as you need uh, to get um, the beautiful prizes, but we will find out. So basically, as a casino release login bonus, you'll be able to get 700 casino medals um, as long as you log in from the 10th which is tomorrow it says monday the 10th but monday is nine um so i think they meant tuesday the 10th um until the 30th of this month and to complete an exilia quest you can get one daily um if you complete an exilia quest you will get a hundred um casino medals but you can only redeem this once a day and it'll be regularly updated okay but, you know, starts on the 11th, which is Wednesday. I don't know if these start dates are really for tomorrow, I mean, well, today, Tuesday, um, or, you know, further in the week. But, you know, hopefully um, they either update these notices or I don't know. Cause I'm going with the assumption that they think Monday is the 10th, which it's not. It's the 9th, so maybe it is. It just, I mean, it says Wednesday. So maybe the Exilia Quest does come out on Wednesday and they just messed up that one line. Um, a prize list of exchangeable items for the casino medals. We'll also talk about the grand prizes. Login bonuses of uh, celebrating the opening of the casino. So the prize list. The things that we can get in the casino, and we'll go to the casino a little bit. I have not gone in yet because I want to experience it with y'all and we can, you know, have this experience together. I like showing y'all, you know, my first reaction to things and, you know, figure things out together. So there is the Glitter Goddess Hestia, which you can get for 19 million, say that again, 19 million, 999,999, so you need basically 20 million, 20 million of the casino medals to get the Glitter Goddess Hestia. To get her bonds, each bond, it, you know, costs more. So for one bond, um, for one bond, um, it is 40 million. And you can exchange it twice, so 80 million there. And then you need six, well, 70 basically, uh, to get another bond, and you can get two there. And the last one is 200. So let's do this math. So we have 200 plus, um, let's see, 200 plus 70, oh, so we have 200 plus 70 here, plus another 70, um, plus 40 times 2, it's 80, um, plus the 20 that you need for the initial, you need 440 million medals, because you know medals, to get her fully max limit breaked. But hey, you have the golden, you know, the glitter one. 
And for, uh, for eyes, it's the same thing. Um, actually, no, it isn't. Um, so for eyes, um, huh, that's interesting, too, too. Um, maybe that's a typo. Um, or maybe the first one was a typo. I'm not sure. Um, because for, um, for that last bond for Hestia, it's, 199 and the other one's just 99 so maybe they meant to do 99 we'll find out because then it's 340 versus you know 340 versus 440 that's 100 100 million difference hopefully it's easy to get um and we'll see um if you were just wanting to get the regular bunny hestia um it is uh 7,000 i mean 7 million and, and then the bonds are 11 million, 33 million, 99 million. Um, so let, let's do, I guess, you know, we could do the math. So um, I will round up on the first one. Eight, oops, eight plus 11 plus 33 plus. Um, 195 so that is the difference um, from 195 to 340 possibly 440 to be able to max on a break the other Hestia the bunny goddess Hestia and the bunny princess eyes um, also other things that you can get from this is a happy golden knife a happy knife happy golden Mally happy Mally dungeon cake book of nobility and big bouquet and you know crepes and crystal drops and you can see that some of these at the bottom have a daily limit so that's kind of interesting to see um and we'll go check out these new items uh, so introduction to the prize items you can attain hestia and eyes by collecting the casino medals and there are the special bunny golden bunny costumes along with the regular bunny costumes you can earn the bond for each unit by collecting casino medals and, you know, don't miss the opportunity to let break them. Let's talk about the unit details. So, we have Bunny Goddess versus Glitter Goddess. I mean, the name is beautiful, Glitter, Glo Glitter Goddess. Um, as you can see, their stats are the same for each one. They're the same. The combat skill is HP regen um, at 10%, 14% at 6 star, and then 18% at max limit break. Um, and the same thing for um, for the golden one, um, for the glitter. Sorry, glitter, not golden. Um, and for uh, for ice, which she is also very cute. The stats are also the same across the board. You can also see that her skills are the same so really when it comes down to it you are just gonna go for the outfit of course if you want to get two of the glitter um you know the glitter goddess and the regular one and the eyes you could technically run both of them in war games <laughs> or you're a record buster so you know wherever you can use duplicates you can run both of them so if you if i see any of y'all with both Max Limit Break at Glitter Goddess and Glitter Princess and the other ones, I'm gonna be like so jelly of your luck. Um, also, um, the other prizes we have is a happy knife. It's a knife that brings good fortune. Slightly increases volleys is earned when equipped. That is kind of cool. Will definitely be with me whenever I go hunting uh, volleys. Happy Golden Knife. It's a golden knife that brings good fortune. Increases volleys is earned when equipped. Okay, oh, maybe they stack. Mm, and Happy Melee brings good fortune, increases Exilia, learned with, uh, Exilia earned when equipped. And um, the armor also increases Exilia. Imagine a team with both and will offer these items. And um, was there a limit to how many you could get? Um, you can get three, up to three of each of these items. So definitely worth getting. Let's see what else. Um, 
And one thing I wanted to, I was curious, is there any dates on these things? Hmm. No, it just seems like it's going forward. I wonder if they'll add more items, you know, here and there. I mean, the Logan bonuses that we're going to get uh, will be um, starting Tuesday. Today, when you see this video. Um, if you log into the period, you can get a total of 700 casino medals. 700 versus, you know, so, you know the 195 million you need to maximum break one of the gals. Um, and you'll also get 80, 80 irises, a 2 star gacha ticket times 1, a 3 star gacha ticket times 1, and 3 hero fallness. And um, it's going to be over 14 days. I'm glad that they're taking, you know, the uh, you know the opening of Casino very seriously. But, you know, we also know that there's not going to be... Um, there's this big disparity of how many Casino medals you need compared to how many you're going to get. So... We're going to have to see how easy it is to get some of these um, medals. And you get your login bonus whenever the date rolls over, yada, 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 um, normal things. One of the things I do want to go see is, especially for the Hestia, how does she compare? Um, you know, low key becomes kind of character analysis. Um, but how does she compete with um, our other healer? So, Ahmed has always been, you know, recognized as the best healer assist. And at max limit break, her magic is at SS at 569. Um, strength is 210. But she does 20% HP regen. So, 20% HP regen for your allies. So, now let's go look at Hestia. So, Hestia. Oops, not that one, but she's. Loki, she's also very pretty. Look at her, she's so pretty. What does this one do? Oh, sleep and magic. Um, okay, sorry, got sidetracked because, you know, has to have And her, at Max Limit Break, she actually has an SS in Dexterity. Oh, but it's interesting, all her stats are E, uh, which actually, um, I don't think Emmett does at Max Limit Break. No. She's C A A A B. Okay, so I mean Hestia has that. She has a more dexterity, which can help you with some crits. Um, but but she does an 18% HP regen to your allies. So by 2% a mid is better for healing as an assist. Um, as you know, total stats. You know, in, you know, total stats that she improves. Of course, Hestia is going to be giving you a slight boost to all your other parameters. Um, magic is not as much. I mean, it's missing like 200 in, in magic. But otherwise, it's very comparable. But if you already have, you know, maxed out a max limit break a mid, you might not want to chase Hestia unless you want a completionist and want Bestia. Then go for it. Go for it, guys. I love Hestia. I mean, it's not a joke. Um, but now let's go see how easy it is. So we've talked about the rewards. We've talked about the units that you can get and, you know, login bonuses and all that jazz. As you can see on there, we have, we have in all its glory, they look a Cena button, which, well, that way, uh, which lights up. It's really, it's really cute. So we're going to select it. Oh, Anya and Chloe, what are you guys up to? The Casino Ryuji story apparently reopened now. Time to take a paid leave, meow. <laughs> Make a fortune and pretty hard. Fish buffet, here I come. <laughs> I'll be surrounded by cute boys. Meow. And then, meow foo hoo. <laughs> We've been eager to go to the casino forever. Meow. It's always Ryu and Seer who get to have all the fun. 
By the way, boy, we heard you have a blast. We heard you were nicknamed Lucky Rabbit. People are calling me that? I didn't do anything special, though. We don't give a flying fish, Mio. This game's already been decided. <laughs> Let me on a winning streak with your luck. Let's go. Meow. We practice this poker face thingy. Meow. We'll take as much muni as possible from the rich. <laughs> if you're not against seer, we're not scared of no poker schmoker. Hey, wait! Mamma Mia is staring at us, but didn't they notice? Okay, so now we're in the casino. Um, you can get more casino medals by playing games in the casino by getting casino medal. Let's read that again. You can get more casino medal by playing games in the casino. Okay? By getting casino medal, you can exchange them for luxurious items. You can get casino medals by purchasing them with valleys or by earning them through missions. There are many items you can only get with casino medals. So you can exchange casino medals. You can change valleys to casino medals. Oh. Oh. Okay. So let's go check out the me the metal shop. So for the metal shop, okay, so to get 10 casino medals, we need a thousand. To get a hundred, we need 10,000. And we can do this 10 times. Right now we have zero. And to get a thousand, we need to pay a hundred thousand. And if we go to the item exchange, um, has to dress in a bunny girl, a costume made of rare gold. Uh, we can't exchange for any of this, but, oh, so yeah, that glitter bond was, why is that last bond for Hestia so expensive? Look how expensive. It wasn't, it wasn't a typo. I thought it was a typo. Why is the bond so expensive? I mean, I guess it's because it takes you more, it gives you more, um, health regen. Um, happy golden knife, happy knife, happy golden melee, all the things. Uh, dungeon cake. Dizzy cake made with fruits harvested from dungeon units. CP greatly increases when given as a present. Okay. Okay, so is this like higher rating of things? Um, and the bouquets for a hundred, hundred eleven thousand, hundred eleven. Okay, one, 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 a lot of ones. Okay. So we have zero casino medals, um, we're going to purchase them, we're going to be cheap, and we're going to buy 10 of these, we are, this is daily, so this is why we're doing it today, and here's a hundred, and if we go for these, it's going to cost me a million, so we're not going to spend that yet, because we want to see how this goes, um, we want to see how this goes. So with a hundred, I mean a thousand one hundred and ten, let's try our luck and figure this out. So we have a hundred and one thousand eleven hundred. We have eleven hundred. So we can also see the daily ranking um, to see how you know other people are scoring. I guess. So now we get into the funny business. Poker. Enjoy draw poker where you can exchange your cards one time and make your poker hand with five cards. Also, once your hand is made, you can try to the double up challenge. So you choose the cards and hold and shuffle the rest. Aim for the high hand. Get your prize by succeeding in double up. Get a higher card than the one that's open. Okay, so choose the cards to hold, the ones I want to keep, and I can double my price by succeeding in double up. Okay. Okay, so bet. Oh, and actually betting more does give you um, more of prizing. 
as you can see if I bet a thousand um, it could be more so let's bet one let's see let's see how this goes so we have you know all the cards that you know we were given uh, tap the cards to keep um, I mean if I can get a ten Of a kind. If I want to do five of a kind. Well, I mean, we have two. Um, hopefully, with this refresh, we can get another one, so be three of a kind. So let's see. So I lost. That was very quick. I don't play poker. I went to Vegas when I lost money, so you definitely don't want me betting. <laughs> um, so we have two of a t two of a kind, and we have two aces. So let's throw those away, those two away, and see if we can get something to match. So we have one pair. See, but that's so yeah. I only had one pair. So I'm not actually winning because I mean I've lost two pennies already. Um, so definitely it takes skill to understand poker, um, but I will learn. That is my goal to figure this out so I can win some casino medals because I am not going to exchange all of my volleys for casino medals. But at least you can see kind of what this is. I mean right now we have we have a lot of hearts. So we're gonna hold all the hearts and just swap that one out. I don't understand the high card. I really don't understand the high card. And these. Hold these. So maybe high card means that you lost. So I'm clicking the help button. How to play poker. Poker is the game uh, where you make a hand with five cards, the stronger your hand is, the higher your chance of winning a higher price. Flow the game. So we select the number of medals uh, to bet, one, ten, hundred, uh, thousand. Tap the play button to start the game. You will dealt five cards, select the cards you want to hold, yes. And the cards you have selected uh, to hold will remain in your hand. The remaining cards will be exchanged for another. So. If you win, you'll get this congratulations screen, which I guess I have not won at all. Um, and you'll know how many you won. Um, will you take the challenge to double up? So at that point, they will tell you if you want to double. If you have made a poker hand, your prize will be the medals you have bet to price, uh, times the prize rate. If you succeed in making a poker hand, you can challenge uh, the game of double up. If you do not take the challenge, you'll receive the prize that you won at this point. About double up, if you succeed in doubling, you will double your prize. If you fail, you will receive, not receive your prize and the game will end. As long as you do not fail in doubling up, you can continue until you win 10 times. Okay. And how to play double up. When you challenge a game of double up, you'll be dealt five cards. One of these cards will be flipped open. And if you are able to choose a stronger card from the one and the four unflipped, you will succeed in double up. The rank of the cards are in that order. Two, um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Joker, Queen, King, Ace, Joker. Um, Joker being the strongest. And that's it. Of course, I apparently have no skill when it comes to poker. But I'm gonna I'm gonna learn. I mean I have other things I want to learn, but now I kinda wanna learn this because I want Hastia. Um I had a pair, but that didn't work out. But this has been me going through the rewards for Casino, um, what things you can get, just kind of uh, doing a character analysis on Hestia versus Amid, which is the other healer assist unit that we have. We've also played Casino, gone through the story, and played, and we've, you know, we've talked about what you should do and what it takes to win. 
Uh, once I figure out poker, I will try to do a little tutorial about what you should and should be not doing if you've done um, a lot of gameplay and know how to play poker and want to give me tips, please leave them below. I am clueless when it comes to poker and gambling. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Thank you also very much for watching and let me know what you're most excited also um, to get from the metal shop. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, meow to meow.